this is probably a good time to look at how to create pens or to adjust pens to make them a little bit better. Uh, you might be struggling to recreate what I'm doing based on the pens that I've got compared to the way that yours look. Uh, that's something that I've been making um, as something that you can download soon. Uh, when that's available, I can show you where. But for now, let's have a look at how to create it. So these are the, the available pens that you might have in your list. So let's start with one that's very simple. So when we go through the list, you might have one that looks like this like this. Um, let's start with this one because this is probably the most normal. So this one's called 02 Site 500 and we're going to use that one to start with. When we change the pen setting we can see that it massively changes what we've been drawing. So if I switch my pens back to mine, we see that that automatically changes everything. So it's not like it, it gives us new pens to draw with, it actually overrides everything that we're working on. And of course that's just part of a saved view. So if I go down and create this as a saved view under details, uh, then I can choose my pen set so I can make that into whatever pen set that I want. We can edit those by going into our pens and colors. So if, let's go do that slowly. Options, element attributes, pens and colors. And then we can edit any of these. So let's make this a bit bigger. Let's stretch it out. Again, I'm gonna start with one that's called this one and show you how to make yours better. We see some of them have a bigger range than others. This one's fairly small. And what we're gonna do is just change this top list. We're not gonna change everything. Uh, if you had one that was called color, you might find that better, but there's not really a lot of colors in this one either. So let's change this one. We're going to start making some changes, and then we're going to see it's going to give us the ability to say store as. So I want the first row to be all blacks up until the point where I don't need any more thicknesses of blacks. So I'm going to click, and I could change that to black. There's a few different ways, depending on if you're using a Mac or PC, you have different methods to choose colors. I can just choose black. This is a bit slow to do it one at a time, so let's get fast and just select them all in one go and make them all black in one go like that. Then I'm going to change the, I'm not going to worry about the name or the description, I'm going to change the pen thickness. So again, I could hold shift and change them all in one go. I don't really want to do that because with pens, I want to change them one at a time. Now I'm going to make this one 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Sorry, I didn't change that. 0 0.2, 0. Let's try to do this right. There we go, 0 0.4, 0.5. Now you might choose different thicknesses, uh, but just for now, this is a really simple way to keep it straightforward. 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Do we need a pen that's this thick? Probably not. I've come across sometimes when I do want to have a a one millimeter thick pen, but it's it's quite uncommon. One. Now I don't need anything else to be black. I'll normally make pen eleven white, and I'll normally make pen nineteen white, just because that tended to be at least in older libraries uh, the way that pens were set up, and that meant that we wouldn't have to change the pens again for our library types. What I tend to do is make pens 12 through to 18 greys. So we could do this in a few different ways. We can change these in different ways. So we could use these. We could say crayons, mercury.
Right, so now we've got blacks and greys. Now we could change these all to colors if we want to, but there's a lot of work involved in that. I don't really want to do that. And we're going to store as, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it new pens. Now what that means is when you go into your settings, you want to make sure that you've got the settings that you've chosen. So once you've created this as a save view, most importantly, view settings, then change the pens to whatever you want it to be. So you could call it new pens. Wonderful. So hopefully now your pens look a little bit more like mine at least. You're working with all blacks. Now why am I working with all black pens? Like I've said before, the beautiful thing about ArchiCAD is it has the ability to show true line weight. Without true line weight, we'd need to use color to represent line thickness. But with true line weight, we don't need to do that. So we can understand if this drawing is at 1 to 5, how thick this pen will be. And if I want that pen to be thicker, then I can use a thicker pen. We need to understand things like display order. So I want to make sure that the things that are thick come to the front and the things that are thin go to the back, generally speaking. Uh, and that's a good way of working. So using true line weight allows us to see that. Keeping all the pens black means that I can create technical drawings and then if I want to use color just to make my drawings even clearer and easier to understand, I can, but it's not taking away from the technical nature of the drawing. It's still explaining with hatches, it's still using the right sort of line thicknesses. Color's just an added extra or a bonus. Hopefully that helps and you can follow along and create your own pens as well.